Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually really glad to have you guys here with me today. I got something a little different and I can't believe that I have this and I'm gonna share it with you guys. It's gonna be super cool, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And uh, while I got your attention here, why don't you consider subscribing? There is cool content on this channel just like this very video. Go check out the rest of my videos and uh, let me know what you think. But uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I found something on Amazon. I had to have it. It was like $40, $43 and some change or something like that. And it might be a waste of money. However, it made me smile and I hope it makes you smile. So let's get right into it. You've already seen the thumbnail and possibly even the title. You know, this is uh, before I posted it. So, you know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to name it, but it's probably, you know, you guessed it. But anyway, let's take a look at Sex Panther. That's right. This is Sex Panther from the movie Anchorman. Now, uh, if you have ever seen that movie, you know the movie is just ludicrous. It's crazy. It's hilarious. It's it's stupid comedy. It's 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 raunchy. It's it's just idiotic, but it's hilarious. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, not so much Anchorman two, uh, but Anchorman is a all time classic. It is just uh, you know what do you call them like a uh, like it's a cult classic, right? People love it. Uh, and I didn't even know, I mean, I should have known, but I didn't know something like this existed. And uh, it was actually on uh, an ad from Amazon on my Instagram page. I was kind of baffled. I was like, wow, uh, I'm not really sure why I got this ad, but it really spoke to me. It was a reasonable price, reasonable price, and uh, I, I just purchased it, you know, on spot. And I checked other uh, other sources that sell something similar, and they're all about the same price, so I'm really not that worried about it. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. Now, if you are looking at this, this is just so weird. The, the whole entire thing is weird. The box is a, like a really slick, uh, rubberized feel to it, uh, and it's very nice. It seems like a high-quality box, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I, I'm a fan of these kind of rubberized boxes over just a classic crappy cardboard paper boxes. Uh, you know, it just, it has a, a like a very superior feel to it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, now, however, the print is, uh, it looks a little generic. However, it, it, it just kind of uh, represents the product, I'm assuming. You know, it's, it's nothing too fancy, uh, but kind of straight to the point. Uh, and it tells you everything you need to know. Uh, number one, it's a 60 ml bottle. Cologne, obviously, it's a cologne. Sex Panther. What more do you need to know? And on the side here, this is where it kind of tickles my fancy here. 60 uh, Sex Panther. 60% 60 of the time, it works every time. Uh, if you know that quote from the movie, you're a real G. And, uh, it's awesome. Anyway, looking at the back here, this says it's made in USA, believe it or not. I don't know if you can make that out. Maybe not. Made in USA. Uh, ingredients, all right? There's the ingredients list if you're interested in that. Uh, you know, kind of pause the video and, and, and check that out. I honestly cannot even tell if this is, is focusing or not. Ye bitch. Anyway. Sex Panther. Let's open the box up and, and see what's inside. I have yet to do that. The only thing that I did do is when I got the box, okay, number one, I order a lot of stuff on this channel. Uh, I order a lot of stuff to keep you guys in the loop and show you guys really cool things, uh, which is another reason why you need to click that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. But uh, there was a white box on my porch. I got off work and I, I was just like, it was a small white box. And uh, the box was a little crunchy. Uh, I didn't know what it was. Uh, you know, because like I said, I order a bunch of stuff. It just kind of shows up. This stuff was wrapped in, in so much bubble wrap. It is unreal. Uh, it took me forever to get it unwrapped. But that was the only thing I did. So let's open it up and uh, let's take a look. 
let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so uh, cap come off. Uh, I can already see a little bit of a discrepancy in the product. Um, I guess it's not necessarily too big of a deal, uh, but the in the picture of the product image on Amazon, this has a chrome cap, not a black cap. So, um, not really sure. Maybe they ran out and they're just using whatever. But uh, I just felt like it's something worth mentioning. But, you know, once again, straight to the point. Sex Panther. It, it tells you exactly what you need to know. Sex Panther. But uh, unlike any other cologne or fragrance product... Uh, it doesn't have any of the information on the bottom. It's just black. Um, which, realistically, this is a novelty product. It's not, like, serious. Uh, but I thought it made for a cool video. And uh, tell me it didn't. So, looking at the bottle. Like I said, it's supposed to have a chrome cap, not a black cap. But black cap is what I got. So, that's what we're going with. Uh, black bottle. White. White kind of a sticker print. It's not like printed on the bottle. It's more like a sticker. Um, no harm, no foul. Usually, some of the cheaper products, that's what they do. They kind of just put a sticker on it. It's not made onto the bottle because it costs extra. Uh, and, and, you know, Ben's, this is a novelty type of product. They're not going to throw that much money into it. They're just going to reap the benefits of, of having people like me impulse buy stuff like this. So... Um, however, I will say that the atomizer here looks uh, of a decent quality. It's very stiff, and those seem to be kind of like the best sprayers when they got a lot of like a, like a stiffness to it. Uh, before I spray it, though, I, I tried to actually look up what the fragrance was supposed to be scent-wise, uh, if see if there was any kind of notes that I could recognize. Uh, but in the description, all it says is musk which doesn't tell me a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this on my forearm and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on what it smells like. Are you ready? All right, cool. All right. Okay, all right. So I, I kinda understand the musk that they speak of. It's actually not that bad. It's not bad, but I feel like this, uh, this type of fragrance has been ripped off somewhere along the lines. It's already starting to dry down, and it's not really that good anymore. The The wet fragrance is, is a whole lot better than the, the dry down. So, you know, just to be informed. But it does have a nice citrusy, sporty kind of smell. Uh, but the musk that they speak of is number one priority in this fragrance. It, it smells very cheap, though. Uh, you know what I'm talking about when you smell like cheaper Rue 21 or, or Dollar General fragrances. They have that almost uh, very reusable, recyclable sense, and, and they just don't... They're almost... Uh, hmm. How do I say it? It's not like they're bad, right? They smell decent, but you can tell... It's on the cheaper side. And that's exactly what I'm getting from this, uh, which I wouldn't expect anything less. Like I said, this is a novelty product. I wouldn't take this to work and be like, yeah, I got to spray that Sex Panther on before I go and bust my ass. So, uh, now that it is completely dry on my skin, it smells horrendous. It smells not so good. I will say that. Uh, it smells a little rough. I wouldn't recommend you actually wearing this. Uh, I would recommend you picking it up to add it to your collection. It's a talking piece. Um, it's pretty cool uh, just to kind of have. I, but I wouldn't wear this. I would not actually wear this on purpose. And it may smell a little bit better on your on your clothes rather than your skin. I do know different types of fragrances out there that smell just a whole lot better on your clothes than on your skin. Uh, maybe because it just kind of it mixes with your skin oils and it just kind of throws off the fragrance a little bit. Uh, that actually does happen. But uh, And I don't know if that is the case in this uh, particular fragrance. But uh, it doesn't really smell that good on your skin. 
I'm not spraying it on my clothes though, because I, I I just got this shirt out. But anyway, we got one more thing to take a look at, because this wasn't the only thing. the The next thing that came with this purchase was this little like decanter, the little Sex Panther decanter, the Panther decanter. Okay. Um. I, now that as the cologne was made in USA. Uh, this was not. This was made in China, if you can't tell by that chintzy Chinese uh, sticker on the bottom. Oh, God dang, sign. Made in China. Uh, that's that classic oval gold with black lettering made in China sticker. Um, Yeah, so just like in the movies, you get this little decanter here. And uh, not really sure what you're going to use it for because the uh, it doesn't stay in. The... Uh, the, the the bung, the bung hole is uh, a little wide. Your bung hole is a little wide. So the, uh, the cork doesn't stay in. Now, this is a porcelain. This is a little porcelain sex panther. So uh, my guess is that this thing could be easily broken, so I would be careful with that. Uh, and like I said, this stuff came extremely bubble wrapped, so uh, I don't have any fears that you'll be getting any broken packages in the mail, especially if they continue to wrap it like they did mine. So that's good, unless it just gets absolutely shit on by UPS or FedEx or whoever they ship it with. But uh, yeah, so let's let's go over everything. Number one, I got this in my hands, so let's talk about the little Sex Panther decanter here. Uh, like I said, cheap. It, it, it's it's not even necessarily anything you need. Uh, you could possibly just toss this in the trash. Um, well, I'm going to put this on my kitchen counter. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but that's where it's going to stay until ultimately I decide that it needs to go to a landfill. So, yeah. Or maybe I'll put it in a yard sale. Hell, who knows. But uh, I give this thing a 3 out of 10. It's garbage. It, it truly is. Uh, it's not what you order the cologne for, all right? So, just keep that in mind. This thing sucks. Doesn't really, doesn't really do nothing. The fragrance, however, is definitely, like I said, it's a talking piece. Uh, the bottle's cool. Uh, the only difference, you know, it they gave me a different cap for whatever reason. Uh, the bottle is neat, though. You, you know, it, like I said, it's definitely a talking piece. I would keep the box, too, because I, I honestly feel like the box is the highest quality product that came in this deal. But uh, all in all, I give the fragrance here. The fragrance itself, I probably give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, the whole package ordeal, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's different. It's it's novelty. Like I said, it's, it's for shits and giggles. I like that kind of stuff. I like that different, those different things. You know, I like those, uh, I like some of the themed things. That's why some of the Duke Cannon products always get me. Uh... Even the Dr. Squatch, I love it. I do. I truly do. But uh, this is more of a talking piece. It's novelty. I wouldn't take it that seriously. And uh, that's why I'm not too mad about it. This is more of just a, uh, a talking piece for me. Somebody's going to come to my house and say, Sex Panther, that's super cool, dude. And I'll be like, yeah, uh, you should try smelling it. Anyway, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, I got plenty more videos to make in the near future. I don't want you to miss it. Click that subscribe button, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.